Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I would like to show you a tiny but incredibly lovely object from our Asian permanent collection. It is a small snuff bottle with beautiful decorations. Let's take a look at it and explore it further. When we look at this piece, we notice right away that it is glass and that it is in a rounded form, and at the top of it, there is some type of little stopper. We also see images on the piece that appear to perhaps be some kind of plant life, and some other small figures on the upper right-hand side. Let's take a look at these. When we look a little bit at this piece, we notice that the are made from enameled glass, which is a tradition that goes back quite a long way in Chinese history. Also, when we notice the upper right hand forms that I spoke of earlier, they are actually two little butterflies, and they are coming to a light on some flowers that are in the center of the snuff bottle. And interestingly, the stopper is made of a semi-precious stone. It is made of a tiger's eye. So this is a very small but luxurious item. When we look at the back side of the item, we notice that there seems to be a bird that is sitting upon a flowering branch. When we zoom in on this, we can see the charming little bird and how it is perched on the lovely springtime blossoms. In addition, we can really see the beauty of the enameling and how the artist was at pains to create many little scale-type images with the enameling process. So it's a very complex process, and even more so because the bottle is so tiny. I would also like to speak a little bit about snuff. Snuff is a very finely pulverized tobacco that was inhaled through the nose and was extremely popular in the 17th and 1800s. Over time, cigarettes took over as the preferred way to acquire tobacco into one's system, and snuff use really declined. However, interestingly, in some Scandinavian countries, you still see snuff used occasionally. Originally, snuff bottles were created to actually hold the snuff, but because the bottles were so lovely, they also were collected. Over time, as the popular use of snuff declined, people just started collecting the bottles. And although they lost their original purpose as containers, they are still created and collected to this day. Thank you for listening, and I hope to share more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.